All right. Pre-polish goes on the rough sand, the rough buff. What this does is it allows the buff to, it helps the, uh, the buffing. And then this guy is the super finish. This is the final finish. That goes on this finer buffer. Uh-huh. And then we, uh, that's the only way sounds so nice. It's better than poly. It's a lot harder to do though, if you ask me, than poly. But so what? Uh, the end result is this beautiful instrument. And it's already starting to shine now. This is just with my rough. This is my rough sand. I mean rough buff. It's already starting to look beautiful. Which is what we want. See, look at that. It's starting to get there, huh? Oh yeah. So you gotta invest in a buffing wheel and some sprays. And some sprayers. If you wanna do lacquer finishes. Most guys don't go, they don't, they don't do this, they do oil finishes. Whenever I see an oil finish guitar, I see a guy. So I use this guy. And um, this guy buffs my my fingerboard. This is a one-piece guitar, so the whole guitar is one piece of wood. So, you know, I don't really want to put that on my buffing wheel. All right. Praise the Lord. Look at that. So, uh, the buffing machine and a little bit of elbow grease. You know, you got to go through this, too. I just went through the three steps. And it's like glass. So, Lacquer has that uh, advantage over oil finishes. A lot of guys do oil finishes because lacquer is so difficult to do. I understand. When I see guys doing oil finishes, I just smile because I know that they've given up on doing lacquer finishes. It's just too difficult. But that's the only way to go if you ask me. The lacquer finish, as we do this final inspection, we can see what's happening here with this build. Mm -hmm. This is all one piece. This build is so beautiful. Wow. I really like I really like how this uh, tobacco burst goes from a tobacco burst, like I said, to a strawberry burst. All semi-hollow. It's just amazing, huh? I love that neck joint. Mm-hmm. All my rods have been put in through the back of this slab of wood. And it's all one piece. And if you look real close, you can see where the back piece of wood was put on there. Mm -hmm. So the sides look good too. All this is looking good. This is all past an inspection. Now, because you know, now a one piece like this with the stainless steel frets is the only way to go. Because you never really want to refret a guitar like this. Why? You know, this is about as pure as it gets, literally out of wood. All one piece. The neck, everything. Fingerboard. The fingerboard and the neck. It's all one piece. It's just been taped off during spraying. To give the appearance that it's a fingerboard, but it's not. But um, it's it's amazing. So there's no neck joint, there's no glue joints at all, except for the very back. And uh, in the stainless steel frets, I do crazy glue them in when I hammer them in, because uh, you really want no, you don't want any gaps underneath your frets in the wood. Dan Early one said that. There's a better tone transfer from fret to neck when there's no gappage underneath the fret. So he, he uses this type on, and Dave Hazel did these frets, PRS guy. He's actually working at Nags now. He, he's working at Nags Guitars. He did these frets, and he, um, he used crazy glue. And he, uh, he, what he says he does is he, uh, he pours the crazy glue in real liquidy through the sides as well as through when he when he presses them in there he also he also if there's any gap it she just keeps filling it until it gets full and then on on all the sides he says that's the way to do it i use type on when i fret like dan early wine says but uh these have been crazy glued in as well as pressed in so there's no reason i'd ever want to change these frets thus the stainless steel Anyway, as you can see, it's just gorgeous. So it's really of a one of, one of a kind. It is the Lotus. Uh-huh. L O 
TUS. On fret 24, there's 25 frets. It's got the Holy Grail at fret 12. We call this series of guitars we make at Rushmore Customs the Holy Grail series because they're all one-piecers. And uh, it's just coming out just amazing. This guitar will sell for about 11 grand.